Good evening, you're watching Fiji Today. Civil servants need to understand the key pillars for development and be more attuned to their work in order to effect changes. The message was delivered to provincial heads of departments, administrators and government officials by the Permanent Secretary for Provincial Development, Colonel Inia Seriratu in Nosori this morning. Civil servants need to be thoroughly aware of the way forward for development as set out by the government. Provincial Development Head Colonel Inia Seriratu, in his first official visit to the Central Eastern Office in Nosori, met with government reps this morning to discuss government's aim and the need for all officers to understand the importance of their role in delivering essential services to the community as set out in the Roadmap for Democracy and Sustainable Socio-Economic Development. Colonel Seriratu said civil servants need to understand the objective of the roadmap and to effectively implement policies to achieve government's vision of a better Fiji for all. As civil servants, I always encourage uh, my people in the Northern Division 1, you need to understand the big picture. Some of us are not interested in the macroeconomics, uh, policies of government, and so forth. But unfortunately, because by virtue of your position and uh, rank within the public service, you have to be interested in these documents. Seri Ratu added civil servants needed to understand the important linkages within the charter and the roadmap in order to implement and deliver government services to the people. If you are to be focused in the work that you are doing and you want to be effective and improve in the delivery of service in your various portfolios, you need to understand the big picture. Because I always say that when you understand the big picture, this is the thing that will keep you going. In the absence of orders, in the absence of direct supervision, in the absence of proper resources, this is the very thing that is going to energize you. Permanent Secretary for Health, Dr. Sara Saketa, says a corporate sponsorship is crucial for the ministry as it provides the necessary support services aimed at further enhancing its service delivery to the country. This was evident this morning as the lime green colours of BSP brought satisfaction and delight to patients and staff of the country's oldest health facility. It was certainly a day of contentment as kitchen hands of the PJ Toomey Hospital in Tomavua basked in the glory and splendour of the newly refurbished workplace. Gone were the days of slips and falls as common in any industrial environment, but this day certainly belonged to the patrons of PJ Toomey we have lived through the experiences of a congested and somewhat unhealthy surrounding. <laughs> Bank South Pacific General Manager Microfinance, Government and Community Relations, Mr. Howard Politini, declared open the new facilities, renovated and upgraded at a cost of more than $4,000. Last year we uh, did about 40 community projects. Uh, this year, last week, I was in uh, Namaka Health Center to hand over the uh, little project there by the Namaka branch. And uh, we have probably done about eight in the health. Of course, the Suva Dental Clinic is all over there to see when you drive up Waimon Road. Uh, and we have done projects at the uh, hospital in Nosori. Uh, Rakiraki Hospital, Sao Savu, uh, and the Nandik But what was once a dilapidated and unhygienic kitchen a few months ago certainly appears more pleasant to all now, which will eventually promise a new lease of life for the less fortunate here. I, I can proudly say that this is one of the best kitchen, hospital kitchens in Fiji. Tamavu Tumi Hospital and the Ministry of Health uh, acknowledges the, uh, the contribution from the uh, Bank of South Pacific as well as the assistance from the Board of Vistas for the uh, refurbished uh, new kitchen at uh, Tumi Hospital. His Excellency the President Ratui Perine Latikau this morning received two new additions to Fiji's Judicial Bar in a brief ceremony held at Government House. The additions bring to 25 the total number of Sri Lankan nationals serving in Fiji's judiciary. 
two new appointments to Fiji's judiciary took place at Government House this morning with His Excellency the President Ratu Epeli Nalatikau officiating in the swearing-in of two Sri Lankan judges. The two are Honourable Justice Prasanna Wikranamayake and Resident Magistrate Mr. Sujiwa Pathiraj. Presiding over Fiji's Court of Appeal, Justice Wee Ramanake has had extensive experience in law serving in the United Kingdom, Sri Lanka and Australia. He was admitted to the legal profession on 1st December 1971 before signing on to the Victorian Bar role in Australia on October 26, 1972, after which he was appointed as a Queen's Counsel on December 17, 2002. Today's appointments bring to a total of 25 Sri Lankans serving in Fiji's judiciary. Join us again after the break.